Let's click Online Pages. Okay, first we're going to create a folder to store our newsletters in. We'll click Add Folder. Okay, Online Newsletters. We'll click the New button. And here we're going to use a basic template. And we'll use this 446 width. We'll click the Select button. You'll need to give your page a name and also create a title. The title will show in the tab of the web browser. And we're going to store this in my templates folder called Online Newsletters. And we're good. Now we'll click the Next button. Now we'll click Go to Theme Builder button. Okay, the first thing I want to do is replace the header. You'll notice the header says 446 pixels wide. Let's click the Edit button. Now let's double click on the image. Then we'll select My Library. We'll select this big header. you notice that it says 600 pixels wide. So instead of clicking the Insert button, we'll click the Customize button and resize the header image. This is the header width. Okay, let's resize it. Okay, 450 is good enough. We'll click Insert. Then we'll click out of it. There's our header image. Since we're making a template, I'm not going to replace the video right now. We're going to design our template first, and then we can make copies of our template every time we create a newsletter. I just want to get the basic content made first. We'll scroll down. We won't be needing these double columns. I will be using the article rows, so we'll leave them there. Okay, we're good. This is our template. I'll go ahead and erase this dummy text. Okay, so we're ready. Okay, I'd like to have a gray background, so I'll go to the backgrounds. And in the body, we're going to select gray. There we go. We'll click Close Theme Builder and then Save and Close. Okay, here's my template. This will give you the basis from which you can create all of your weekly templates from. Now that we've selected it, we'll click Copy Template. Now let's rename it. Now we're ready to put our content together. Let's change out the video. We'll click the pencil. We'll click HTML5. Okay, here's the video I want to use. I've already resized it to 426. Click out of it. Now let's put our text in. Let's click out. Okay, great. Now let's put our call to action. Delete the text and center it. On the left hand menu, click image. In the stock gallery, drop the menu selection down. Scroll all the way to the bottom. We'll select Webinar Buttons. We'll insert this button. Then we'll select it. Click the Hyperlink Manager. We'll paste in our webinar URL. Then click OK. And we're done. Then click Out. Then click Close Theme Builder. Now we'll Save and Close. And we're done. We'll click Save and Close.